Hey guys, so this is part 2 of the tutorial on how to make a chessboard. Always make sure in your document settings that the units are set to inches. And an easy way to make the bishop is to get a PNG like the one I've linked in this video. Insert it. And now change the scale to 3. Start a sketch on the plane. Create a line. Make that line 0.7 inches. And just take it straight up. Make sure it's at a right angle. And if you're not sure, you can use a horizontal or vertical constraint to make sure. You can now just trace over the image as I am doing currently. Whenever you're creating circles and it's just not even, you can always use the tangent constraint. Click the line in the circle and it'll solve that for you pretty quickly. Um, for a couple of these curves, in case they're like annoying to do, you can always use splines and just the good thing about splines is that you can alter them even after pressing enter however you want. Alright, so when you have half of it done like this, click finish sketch and we are going to use the revolve feature and click all of the closed shapes the axis is going to be the line that we drew earlier to create something resembling a bishop now how we are going to connect all of these pieces feature. Just like this. We're just going to connect everything together. Always make sure that your operation is on join when doing the loft. And that is your finished bishop. I don't recommend coloring it in the appearance tab right now as we'll do that at the end with our finished chess set. Always remember to save your design after you make it or during the design. Depends on the complexity of what you're aiming for. But please remember to like and subscribe and have a good day.